I just remember holding the steering wheel. I got really hot. I felt like, oh, I felt kind of dizzy. I don't know what my stupid ass was thinking. I just started driving straight. Like, like they couldn't see me recognize my car with my pizza sign on top. I just started driving straight like I was like I didn't live there. I just went, nope, don't, don't go, don't go. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dope is Yoli here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Welcome back to story time, guys. Today's story time, I'm really excited about. I rarely, I rarely talk about my grandpa Tom. Really fucking cool man. We lived together, just me and him for a few years, and this is where the story takes place. A little backstory, guys. My grandpa Tom danced his ass off. Mexican dude from Texas. He dressed like a disco guy. He had an afro. He looked like a black dude that just spoke fluent Spanish. Before we get into the story, guys, thank you so much. The last story time I mentioned I have a second channel. We have gone up like 15,000 subscribers in the past few days. All right, guys, let's talk about one of my favorite people of all time, my grandpa Tom. I knew I was just gonna start reminiscing and getting all stuck on these memories, so I rolled a four gram joint today. So today's topic of story time, guys, house party. So my grandma and grandpa lived on 6th Street, Merced, my entire life. Next door to the left of us is a man named Mr. Edwards. They have like 30 grandkids. There's literally like 40 kids there when family come over. There's so many kids playing outside. It was so fucking cool when I was a kid. Mr. Edwards is a mechanic from the South. He's an old black dude. He's probably like 85, 90 years old now. I can't understand what this man is saying. He's so Southern. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. I, I don't know what he's saying. I would just, hi, Mr. Edwards. Yup. Cause I don't know what the fuck he's saying. And his wife sold candy. She was real mean. So I would go over there like scared. I'd go into her living room. She had like a whole convenience store in her living room. And I'd just like, can I get some M&M's? And I'd pay her. And then when we weren't buying candy, she was yelling at us. That's the neighbor on one side. Mr. Edwards and my grandpa have known each other since my grandpa moved in. They're super fucking homies. They tell each other everything. They talk, they water their lawn at night and they talk. And on the other side, my whole life, it was this Mexican family and their older son was my age. And I remember one time they made us fight. He was in karate and he kicked me in the face and I cried. I never talked to the kid again, man. Fuck that family. A couple years later, another family moved in. Nice family, Mexican people, but they had a daughter. She was hot. They had a daughter named Geraldine. Sorry, I know you're married. I'm sorry. I'm talking about it, Jerry. I hope your husband didn't get mad. You know those old school houses? The fence was like four feet tall. Something I forgot to mention, guys. From 17 to about 18 and a half, I lived with my grandpa. My grandma died when I was 16. I moved back from Oregon about 16, 17. And I said, Grandpa, can I just live with you? I don't want to lose my mom. 15 to 22, me and my mom did not associate with each other. And it was just me and him, me and my grandpa. So remember, I'm selling weed, smoking weed. My grandpa works all day. I just have a house. So at nighttime, guys, I would go out and smoke weed when my grandpa would go to sleep. So one night, the neighbor girl, Jerry, she was there. She was outside. And I go, hey, what's up? We start talking. And she smokes weed. So we would just smoke bowls. She was real fucking chill. She was hella funny. And her mom hated me with a passion. She thought I was banging her daughter. I wasn't banging her daughter. I ain't trying to have no babies. It was just, do you want to go high? What's up? I'll see you tomorrow. Here we go. I'm 18, I am out of high school, right? My grandpa, he loves riding his motorcycle. He takes cross country trips. My grandma and grandpa were married for like almost 40 fucking years, 45 years. His best friend's gone. So he wants to just go do stuff to keep us occupied. I don't smoke weed according to him. I'm selling weed out the front of the house. Like I try to make sure everything's cool. He don't see me, he don't smell me, nothing. Even though my grandpa doesn't hate weed, he made it through the 60s. I heard stories, he used to get high as fuck. I just don't want to disrespect his fucking house. My grandpa's had a best friend since he was like 17 years old. His name's Robert Wilhelm, he's fucking hilarious. He loves riding motorcycles my grandpa just got a Harley and his other homie got a Harley I get home from work my grandpa looks at me he's all chaps leather chapped up <laughs> he really went all out for the biker thing man it's when that movie Wild Hogs came out with Tim Allen that's the year my grandpa just started loving motorcycles or something I don't know what it was but that's the movie that made him like I'm getting a fucking bike so my grandpa went on his own Wild Hogs adventure with all his homies he told me Thomas I'm gonna go to Utah I'm gonna drive to Utah I'll be back in three days in my head I'm like oh Fuck yeah, I get the house to myself. And in person, I go, please be careful and let me know when you get there. Let me know if you need anything, blah, blah, My grandpa takes off on his bike and I immediately start texting my friends like, hey, I have this house for three days alone. What are we doing tonight? I'm very responsible. I will clean up. I'll make sure nobody knows. I'll make sure people park down the street. Nothing. I'm having a little party here, but I'm not getting in trouble. A couple hours later, I saw the next door neighbor girl. I told her, hey, you want to hang out? We're going to smoke all that shit tonight. She goes, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to come over because my mom doesn't like you, but I'll see if I can. It's about seven o'clock, the sun goes down. I have like seven to 10 people come over. Not a shitload of people. That's a fucking party for me. That house is not big. That's a party. We're drinking, we're smoking, it's fun. I have this little vaporizer. You throw a weed on the top, you press it, and it shoots out the weed smoke. Kind of like a fucking air compressor, but I had one I bought at the smoke shop. I thought it was the shit. One of my homies is a senior at the time, and he has this girl come over that's like a fucking freshman, and I remember we all just started talking shit to him like, 
You're basically a pedophile, motherfucker. What are you doing? The night's going on. It's about nine o'clock and I think, holy shit. You think my grandpa didn't tell Mr. Edwards to keep an eye out? I better do something about this. So the first thing I think of is, I'm gonna go get all the sheets in the house and I'm gonna put them up all over the front windows. So if anybody comes by, they won't see a bunch of people walking through the blinds and then my grandpa's gonna know it wasn't just me. So about 12 o'clock at night, some of my friends are still there. We're drunk, we're fucked up. Geraldine's outside. I go in the backyard to smoke weed with her. Everybody comes out, we're smoking weed, it's all cool. At about three in the morning, guys, everyone's gone except Jeeps. We're drunk as shit, we're high as fuck. We're sitting on my truck of my car right in front of my house. So the night's over, dude. It's like four in the fucking morning. I have to go to work at 10. I open. I knew that I did. I didn't give a fuck. Jeebus is sleeping on the little couch. I remember I'm on the big couch. The blinds at the time were those pink plastic blinds. And I'm thinking, whoa, that was a wild ass night. I look around, there's fucking beer cans. There's weed broken up everywhere. People are just ashing places like, fuck you guys. And my homie had a vaporizer. So what happens when you fucking vape the weed? It turns like brown, black. So he didn't want to throw it away. He thought he could smoke it again. His drunk ass forgot it all over the kitchen counter. So it's like 9.30 guys, I'm about to go to work. I look, Jeebus already left. I look around, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave the weed shit out. I'll clean the ashes, I'll clean all the fucking stems. I'll clean up the ground of weed. I'll put the bombs away when I get back. My shift was only till four o'clock. I'm like, I'll come back, I'll clean it up. Who cares, my grandma will be gone for two days. So fast forward to about 4.30 guys. I'm off work, I'm driving home. I'm smoking a joint in my car. Guys, I'm about two blocks from my house. The military base thing in Merced is right there to the right. And then the Stephen Leonard Park is right there. And then Sheehy School. On this side is a big open field in a church that across the street from the church, my grandpa's. I can see my grandpa's house from a block and a half away. So I'm driving guys, I look over, I'm like, who the fuck's at my house? No one's home, no one should be there, this is bullshit. So I stop at the stop sign, I look over, I see three fucking Harleys in front of my house. My grandpa and his two homies sitting on the lawn chairs on the front lawn. I just remember holding the steering wheel. I got really hot. I felt like, oh, I felt kind of dizzy. I don't know what my stupid ass was thinking. I just started driving straight. Like, like they couldn't see me recognize my car with my pizza sign on top. I just started driving straight like I was like I didn't live there. I just went, no, don't, don't go, don't go. And I got about halfway in the intersection. I went. This is stupid. I took a left. So guys, my grandpa only lives three houses in on that block. It took me like 40 seconds to drive up. I just took my foot off the gas and just rolled over the intersection. I remember I didn't touch the gas and I just like slowly rolled, got into the gutter to park. I just don't want to go in the house. Like I know what's in that house. I know what's in that house. I forgot to mention, me and G was drunkenly at like three in the morning, we're all fucked up, we want to listen to a certain song. My grandpa is a doo-wop fanatic. So I went through all his CDs and DVDs, everything, and my drunk ass didn't put anything away. There was CDs spread everywhere, everywhere. I left a mess in there, guys. All I did was clean the beer cans. I cleaned nothing else. Doing the slowest shit, I just... <sighs> Open the door, I get out. Close the door, I don't even turn around to them yet. I just close the door. So I turn around guys to face them finally and they're all smoking cigars on the plastic green lawn chairs. They're all looking at me. I look at them and go, hey, I'm walking up to the lawn. Slow, like, hi guys. I've never been in trouble with my grandpa. I, I don't know what to expect. And my grandpa's just like this, cigar, with big smile. I'm at the edge of the lawn. I look at him and I go, hey, I thought you guys were going to Utah. And my grandpa says, we had to delay it a day. We had to wait for somebody else. And then my grandpa goes, did you have fun last night? And I just went, oh yeah, I just, I just had a friend over. The next words out of my fucking grandpa's mouth, I will never forget. Like there was an instant shock and like, oh, what happened? So I talked to the neighbor's mom today and I just go, oh, what'd she say? My grandpa goes, she's real mad that you're with a daughter. I guess you guys were having fun last night. And my Uncle Robert goes, hey guy, what's happening? What's happening? And my grandpa goes, oh, I didn't know you had her over. Just next time, just clean up a little bit. Good going. What's going on? How come he's not mad? Oh, he thinks I banged the neighbor's daughter. That's why he's not mad. And that's where my Uncle Robert went, hey guy. So my grandpa's just thinking, my grandson banged the hot neighbor's daughter and had a party with her at the house. Fuck yeah. That's what happened. Nothing. I didn't get in trouble at all. I walk in and then that's when it's like those scenes in movies like ree, ree. Just looking at all the things I left. I'm like, I left that out. I left that out. It's not like they didn't see it. And the thing is, they went inside, saw the mess. Geraldine's mom came over, knocked on the door, yelled at my grandpa about me. All my grandpa's thinking is like, so he banged your daughter. Awesome. And he just said, 
I'm going to go outside and wait for Thomas. I'm going to let him clean the house, and then we're going to come inside. And that's exactly what happened. I acted like they didn't already see it. I'm over here scraping everything up quick as shit. I'm just taking everything, putting the bongs away, putting all the, put the DVDs away, and they walk in. And I'm sitting there on the couch. I go, I I'm gonna take a shower. My grandpa didn't yell at me. Nobody got in trouble. He didn't care about the neighbor's mom in any way, shape, or form did he give a fuck. All the whole time, I was like, I'm just gonna not tell him I didn't bang her because I didn't bang her. I was chilling with Jeebus at three in the morning. Let him think whatever cool thing happened. I'm not in trouble. Fuck it. My grandma was gone. My grandpa was by himself. So when I moved in, like, we watch movies. My grandpa's a Marvel fanatic. You know how many times I watched action movies that I hate and just pretended to like, whoa, because my grandpa loved it, dude. And I wanted him to be like, yeah, Thomas loves this shit. So we bet on the Super Bowl. We bet 50 cent pieces. Every Super Bowl, we had melt duds and make fucking bologna sandwiches. Me, it was cool. Me and my grandpa didn't talk a lot, but we chilled a lot. And in the end, guys, everything turned out fine. I ended up living with my grandpa for like six more months until I moved out to my first apartment with Jeebus. You know, the one that I used to sell weed and the guy below me sold meth? That apartment. This is right before that. That was the first house party that I ever threw myself. Of course, I've been to hundreds of fucking parties before. Of course, all through high school and college. Yeah, but that was the first one that I did myself. So, in the comments, what's your first house party? What is the crazy shit that happened at the first one you did? If somebody just got drunk and threw up, okay, cool. I want to hear some crazy shit or something wild that happened. Leave it in the comments. A lot of you ask in all my other videos, the reviews, how do I get that product? How do I get this? How do I get that? Go to dopazilla.com. I can't leave links. I can't tell you where to get anything. I can't tell you how much stuff costs. Just go to dopazilla.com. The Adventures of Yola. Go check it out. That's my second channel. I just started doing story times on that channel. No smoking, no cussing. There's going to be so many more stories on that channel about life, family, this, that. Go check it out, guys. It's just more content. I'm just busting out as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. During this quarantine, I like I said, I've been trying to do as much as I possibly can. I know we're all bored at the house. I fucking understand. I am done with Netflix. Hulu's over. I'm down to fucking Disney and Amazon Prime. I get it. We need more shit. Make sure you follow the Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Me, I'm lucky. I get to smoke weed. I get to work from home. I get it. Quarantine's not as bad. But some people out there are stuck in the fucking house. Can't go anywhere, let alone smoke weed in the house. They gotta sneak outside. You can't go outside. Until next time. Thank you guys so much for watching the story time. I appreciate it. I'm Dope Zola. Have a dope ass day.